Hello, hello, and happy Saturday. It is a weekend, my friends. This is very exciting. So I am Christine with Christine Chalk Salat, and I am an independent designer with Chalk Tour. So if you guys aren't familiar with Chalk Tour, you can always put info in the comments and I will get back to you with um, a lot of information about Chalk Tour. Otherwise, you can always watch some of my videos and it'll tell you all kinds of things that you need to know. So um, we're gonna do a fun little project today and I'm, I'm actually pretty excited about this one. Um, I need, I made in my like Eden kitchen area, I made one of those, what is it called? A, um, hi Gwen! That reminds me, I should probably put my page in front of me <laughs> so I can actually see what's happening. I have a hard time seeing on my phone. So let's see if I can do it. Oh man, where am I at? I know I'm live because you just said hello to me. Um, So I made, there I am. I made one of those, is it like a home station maybe it's called? Hi Alex, hello, hello. I think it's a home station. I, I can't remember what they're called, but I have um, a big dry erase board that ha is a calendar. And then next to it, I have a to-do list that's a chalkboard. And then I have little mailboxes under it. And so above the calendar, there's this empty space and it bugs the crap out of me. So I'm hoping <laughs> this will look good there. So I'm using our, um, I think this is a six by 18. Makes sense to me. Um, okay, so the inside is six by 18, but the actual thing itself is 19 inches, just so you know. So it goes to 19 inches on here. So with the frame, it's 19. So, um, and then it's, for sure. Oh, it's seven inches with the frame. So seven by 19 with the frame. So it looks like the workspace is probably, I would say maybe about six. So, so that makes sense. So this is what we're going to use. I am so hoping that this will fit nicely above it. Okay. And our box frames, just in case you don't know, they're two sided. So you have the whitewash side and then you have the natural side. So you can switch them out if you want to or whatever, which I can always do in the holiday. Maybe I can do this one holiday because I'm going to use the white today. Um, so I'm hoping this is going to be big enough to go right above my calendar. <laughs> so we will see my friends. Okay. Obviously you guys know that I decorate in black, and white and gray. So, <laughs> so I'm using Storm today and I'm, I'm going to attempt, okay, to do the same thing that we did with that canvas. And I'm going to do, we did black on that one. I'm going to do gray on here with um, a Clorox wipe and see if I like that better than my stain. Cause usually I use the, um, I usually use weathered gray stain is what I usually use. Um, I'm going to attempt to do it with our Storm and see and see how I like it. The only thing is I don't have a ton of storm. So hold on, let me see if I even have extra storm because I, I don't, oh, I do. Guys, I have extra storm. I'm so excited. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, thank goodness. Cause that was gonna be a challenge for me that if I didn't have enough, hi Tammy, hello, hello. We're, I can tell you Tammy, you are going to want what I'm making. Hello, Lori. Hello, hello. I am pretty confident you're going to want this. So, and I have an M and I believe you have an H. <laughs> so, but I'm pretty confident because I know your style. And so I don't know everybody else's style, but I, I think I, I know Tammy's. So we're going to do this. My dilemma is which one to use. I think I'm liking this. However, this one, my tablecloth is this in black and white. So it's like that same thing in black and white. And the, um, like during certain things, I have red and white, I mean, red and black and all that stuff. So I don't know if I should do this or if it's too much of this. Um, this one is the Buffalo plaid. Unfortunately, my friends, this is not in stock. It's gone. Um, this one is the country plaid. And we've done a project with this before, and I absolutely love this one. Um, darn it, I don't have it here. So, but we've done this, I think, with our welcome door door front, like that drawer front. I think, I think we did this one, and I absolutely like this one. So I kind of am going with this one. But do you think this will match all of the stuff that I have in the house that is this? 
That's what I need to know. Do you think that if I did it this way, will it match this? Because again, don't forget, it's going to go in that Eden kitchen area that has my big dining table. It has my table that has that, um, it has this type of patterns in it. So what are you, what are you thinking? What do you think? Is this close enough to match? What do you guys think? I need help. And thankfully there's four of you on here to help me. I'm missing my mom. I'm missing Judy. Oh my goodness. What do you guys think? Help me, help me. Help me, help me. So is it, what do you think? This one or this one? So this one is country plaid. And then this one is buffalo plaid. Right, this one's buffalo plaid. Guys, I really need help. What color is the other things? Um, on that wall... I have, so Tammy, it's the wall that has the big calendar. So the calendar is white with black trim. So it's the big dry erase calendar. And then I have the mailboxes underneath. And then, um, and then it has that black chalkboard next to it with the gray stuff. So on the wall itself, there's no patterns anywhere. But it's going in that area, if you remember, where we do our workshops. So it's going to go in the spot there where we do the workshops. What did Lori say? I think use the smaller one because the area you are covering isn't that big. So this one, Lauren, is the smaller one. I think this is the smaller one. And I really do think this one, this is the one that I really like. So this one is the one I would prefer to do as long as you think it matches. So I, this is the one I really want to do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's do it. I'm so excited. Okay. So first, let's go ahead and use our surface wax on here. And also, I need to make sure I tell you guys, and somehow or another, I wish I could. Ah, okay, hold on. Maybe I'm not going to use the surface wax. Oh my gosh, guys, what's happening? Nope. No surface wax there. Oh my gosh, guys. And I have to... Pull out the finishing wax. <laughs> There's no way I can get that open. Not a chance in the world. Not a chance. Okay, so just so you guys know, you can always use this finishing wax. This is what I was using for a while because um, surface wax kept going out of stock. But now I've ordered four of them because <laughs> they are in stock. So I have ordered four of them. So Alex, <laughs> I got you covered. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and use this on here and something I got to tell you guys so I've been doing some projects today okay so I've been doing a little bit of projects today and trying to get caught up on all my stuff and are you ready for this so I started doing my little wall over here with the um the canvases that I I wanted to do okay so far I'm struggling because I can't get them all even there's three six nine there is nine of them, guys. <laughs> so to try to get nine canvases lined up, I'm losing my flipping mind. So um, let me just tell you. However, I did do a, I did do some extra ones. So I did the one that says chalking is my cardio, daydream one, and then I did yay for today. So I added three more because it just looked too small on the wall. So I did add a couple more. However... The three that I did, I did not do Mod Podge on the canvas because remember the one, one video I did Mod Podge on the canvas and um, I didn't put anything on it. I didn't wax or anything and it turned out fantastic. So let's learn from that, that I personally don't think on canvas that we need to put anything on it for sure. So we don't need to wax it. We don't need to Mod Podge. We don't need to do anything because the ones I Mod Podge ran just a smidge um not like from here you can't notice it so they 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 but they did smear like like expanded a little bit where the other ones nice and crisp nice and crisp so i'm super excited about it. they look great i mean for back here they all look great can't tell from back here but if you're gonna do it and give it as a gift you know if you're gonna give them as a gift or something don't do it don't do mod podge and don't do um wax Put it straight up on there. I mean, I guess I can't speak to any other color except black right now because 
we did the farmhouse in black <laughs> we did all those in black and black is our runniest chalk paste okay so in my opinion i think we're good hi mary Jo. hello hello how is your weather there so it's still pretty chilly today and i think from my understanding we're gonna get a heat wave so are you getting a heat wave too i wonder because we're gonna get a heat wave <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put it on the best we can. And guys, you guys can always um, tape this off if you wanna tape off your frame. You can do that. I'm gonna try to get the best I can, yeah, on each side. And then I'm gonna do it here too. I'm just not gonna go right to the edge because odds are, one, I, I like that, that look anyways. Um, but I don't want to get it on any of my frame. And you can always tape it. So if you guys want a clean look, snowy, oh, yuck. Yeah, we had snow the other day, and now it's yucky out there. It just looks like a bunch of, ugh, <laughs> bunch of crap. <laughs> okay, so if you guys like a crisp, clean look, and you want it to go all the way to the edge like this, you can put the painter's tape on here and then put this here. Because if you guys notice... Okay, if you guys notice here, it's gonna go right to the edge. So if I took my squeegee to the edge, a little of it's gonna get on the frame, okay? I'm gonna show you, I know it's gonna take this off of here, that's gonna annoy me, but that's okay. I wanna show you guys from this end. So if you guys see it from this end, see how um, if I accidentally hit any of these, it's going to 100% get on my frame, okay? And you don't want that because let me tell you, it's a little harder to get it off of the frame. But again, if you guys like that clean look, you can always put the, the blue painter's tape or you know, something there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do the squeegee, make sure there's no bubbles. I really don't want bubbles on this one. Remember when we use wood? When we use wood, guys, this is usually a one-time use. So if we get bubbles in here, it is gonna be a lot harder to get out. Ah, like that. But if you work them all out now, preparing your surface, doing all of that, you should be good. I don't like that that's not sticking real well right there. Huh, isn't that interesting? Like it really doesn't wanna stick. Yeah, it does not want to stick down there at all. So when I go to do the gray, because I'm doing storm, so when I go to do that, I'm really going to have to play with this area right here because it is not wanting to stick. All right. Ah. Okay, so we're going to use the storm, okay? I love this color, guys. I'm so excited that I had an extra one. So don't forget we want to stir it to make sure that it's like sour cream, right? And I get the edges. Try to remember to do that every once in a while to get those edges in there. I tell you, I had one because I was combining some of my paste together with some of the new ones. I just got some of my new ones. And so I was combining with some of my pastes and which color was it? I can't remember. But my crusty stuff was like, I swear it had to be a quarter inch in on all sides. I'm like, I'm going to lose the way I, I'm not even gonna be able to get my squeegee in there pretty soon. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. All right. I wonder if we should have done the frame first. That's right. Guys, this is really interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna put some on this, this gr the green, teal, whatever you wanna call this, because that's where I'm going to grab it from. All right, and then we're gonna use, remember we're gonna use the, the edge of our squeegee, okay? And then we're gonna come outwards because as we're doing it, we're also going to try to get any other bubbles that are there out, okay? But remember, I'm not gonna go to the complete edge. I'm gonna leave just a little bit. Try to make it as even as I can. I know when I did my drawer front, it did a pretty good job doing it even, but that does not mean it's gonna happen every time. So we will see how we do. Let's see. 
I think this is going to look so great, though. I do, I do. So what do you guys got going on this weekend? Anything exciting that you guys have been doing today? Any fun projects? What have you guys been doing? What have you been up to? Oh my goodness gracious, look at that. Okay, that's too, too thick. So hold on. Let's get that. Okay. Let's see. I should have maybe done blue tape. That way then I can make this nice and even. And it wouldn't bug me that it's not even, right? All right, so let's do this. Let's see. Is anybody else doing any type of crafty stuff today or is it just me? So the reason I'm doing it, guys, is because Bill is gone today. So he went to a world of wheels. <laughs> and usually when he says that, he does it with a little song. I guess there's a song that goes with it. I really don't know. But there's a song that goes with the world of wheels. And so anyway, so he's there. His goal is to get his car. I just found that out today that he would like to get his Mustang. So he has a, a Mustang that he works on and he would like to put that in the world of wheels one year. I didn't know that guys. I've been with him for quite a while and had no idea that that was his goal is to get his car in the world of wheels. Isn't that pretty cool? I don't even know what that means, but I think it's pretty cool. All right, let's see. I haven't looked up yet, so I'm sorry. If you guys are saying stuff, I'm so sorry. So I just wanna make sure I get this done before anything dries on me. I can always sand it too, to make the edges look a little better if I need it to. But actually, I think that looks pretty good. Ah, okay. All right, so here we go. Are you ready? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Are you ready? Oh yeah. That is beautiful. Oh my God. Yay, I'm so excited. So here is our first step. So it's all the way, look at how great that is. I love it, I'm really glad that we went with this, guys. Really super excited about doing this color. The color and the design, good choice, guys. Good choice, and it's not too bad even-wise. I don't think with this design, thank you, Mary Jo, I don't even think with this design, I don't think we would even notice, which is really, really good. Thanks, Lori, thanks, Tammy. I don't think you'd notice if it was too off. Where I do think with the other one, I think with the country plaid, if we were just a little off center, we would notice in a half a second. Or if I didn't fill it in enough up here or something, I think we would notice it right away. How does it look with this color? Should I just leave this color? What do you think I should do? Or should I try to still make it the gray? The only thing I'm nervous about the gray if I do it like our whitewash, is I don't want it to get on my white. So if you guys think this looks okay, I might leave it. Or I might put it up, take a picture, ask you guys your opinion. And then if we think it should go darker, maybe we do darker. What do you guys think? I mean, we can, the only reason I'm afraid is I don't know if I can get perfectly in there with chalk paste. I can if I stain it. I kind of think I should too, Tammy. This looks so good though. I love this. Yeah, I like this a lot. All right, so we're gonna let that dry a little bit more over there. And now we are going to do this and we're gonna put a monogram on 
our circle. So this is our circle simple shape. If you guys remember, um, this comes with two of the circles and then two squares. So we used one of our circles for the hello for my wreath and we used the square for something. What did I use the squares for? Oh, I used the square for Michael's picture. That's right. So I used it for Michael's picture and I think I still have the other one left. So, um, so yeah, so isn't that pretty cool? So it comes with two of each. I don't know if you guys seen Michael's picture. I think I showed you guys what I did with it. Let me show you. Let me make sure. I think I showed you. I did this where I put Michael's picture on it. Um, and then I Mod Podged it right to the back of our um, simple shape. So that is what I did there. Woo! I almost took down my whole shelf, guys. Almost took down the whole shelf. Holy cow. That was scary pushed it too much <laughs> okay so I'm going to wash this though okay so I'm going to put a little bit of my gray on this wet wipe okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and put a glove on <laughs> I even brought a glove out so I didn't forget but I am not big on wearing gloves I forget all the time <laughs> I'm already making a mess just putting the glove on okay so we're going to go ahead, we put some of the storm on here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and wash this. This is because I don't like to sand. <laughs> so you guys can sand if you don't mind sanding. I don't like sanding. So um, instead, to me, I'm just gonna do this where it's going to still give it the look that it was sanded, if that makes sense. But I don't like sanding. I think it's very complicated for me. So I'm gonna show that to you. So you guys see it? So that is what I'm gonna do instead of sanding. And then we're gonna dry this. And if you guys wanna sand it down, sand it down. If you wanna sand the edges, you could, however you wanna do it. I don't know, that big, big sanding machine thingy. It just intimidates me and it happens every time I do it. So now I try to find alternatives to get the same look. So if you guys have ever, you know, any ideas of how to do stuff without sanding, drop it in the comments because I would love to know some ideas. There we go. So that looks pretty dry. I did it on an angle because I can just watch it dry, which was very satisfying. Just so you know, so I can take this off because that's good enough. That's a good color. Yeah. All right, so I just wanna show you guys, okay? And then we're gonna put it right here in the center. I think that's pretty good. What do you guys think? You think that's a pretty good, good color? Okay, so then I'm gonna wax it again. I'm gonna have to get my boys to open my wax thing. What is happening with it? Isn't that so dumb? All right. So now we're gonna wax and then we're gonna put our monogram on it. And guys, you can do, you can do this. Remember how we did our farmhouse and the farmhouse one is uh, like interchangeable, right? So we can take that farmhouse sign off and keep changing it and doing all that type of stuff. So you can probably do the same thing with this. Um, I mean, I'm not, because that's not what my goal is, but um, you guys could do the exact same thing where we can, you can always do a Velcro piece on here, put it here and then change it out um, every time. Or you can even put a hole punch on each one and then wrap it around with twine and then change it out if you wanted to each time. So all kinds of different ideas. So you can use both sides of your, your piece. That way then you can get all kinds of different looks if you want to. So, all right, so we're gonna fuzz this because I've never used this before. If you guys remember, I did not fuzz this, okay, the one that we put on the box frame because I've used it. And I've used it a couple times, so I didn't need to fuzz it. If it's your first time using your transfer, you definitely want to fuzz a good three times, especially if you're putting it on a piece of wood. Um, you don't want it to stick too hard on there because you don't want it to take up the paste. Okay, so now let's try to 
to center this. The good thing about centering, I will tell you, is um, usually you can do it pretty easy because the sides, you just have to get the rest of it centered, the up and down part centered. But the sides should be pretty easy because it's the same on each side because they center it to it. But gosh, does that look pretty centered? I think that's centered. Ugh. I'm going to move it. I, I want to make sure because my, my lines are going across. I want to make sure that this stays across. Good grief, guys. This is difficult. Oof. All right, I think that's good. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna use the squeegee. I definitely see bubbles in there. And if you guys ever seen it, you guys would see the bubbles. It's like little, they look like little air pockets in there. All right, so we're good there. I have to use a new squeegee because I made a complete mess over here. So we're gonna just do the new one and we're just gonna go straight down. And I don't know if anybody watched my pillow yesterday. Complete mess up with my pillow. However, um, I was thinking about it and I'm probably gonna play around with it. I think it's because, and I have to go back and watch, I think it's because I was doing it in all different directions. And I have heard people say that when you do ink, you wanna do in the same direction. So I'm wondering if that's why. So I have to go back and check if that's what I did. I can't remember. So, all right. The things we learn, right? Oh, gosh, look at that. I love this. Oh, my gosh. Look at it, guys. Look at how great that is. Is that so beautiful? Oh, my gosh. Okay, so now we're going to dry it. And then I'm going to... I think I'm going to attach it... I think I'm just going to hot glue it. That's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to hot glue it. But how about I hurry up and turn my hot glue on, so hold on a second. But I think that's what I'm going to do. What do you guys think? Do you think it should be... Because if I hot glue it, it's going to be right on top of the surface. So it'll be right on top of the surface. Otherwise... I could put something there to raise it off of the surface. Which, I don't know which would look better. Let me see. So if we put it right on the surface, it'll be flush on the surface and that's what it's gonna look like, guys. Okay, so it'd look just like that. Is that too stinking cute? Otherwise, if I put something here and raise it up a little bit, is that really needed? I don't know if that's really a, needs to be a thing. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. I don't know. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's necessary. I'm going to hurry up and throw this stuff away, guys. Because I want to close my ink. I mean, my paste over here. I don't know why I don't move the garbage closer to me. Leave it flat? Yeah, I think I will, Tam. I think I will. Let's put this away. I'm gonna close up my paste. I didn't even need to open my second one, guys. Did not even need to open it. Okay, so let's finish drying this. Oh, this is so pretty. Tammy, are you just loving it? You don't think so either? Okay, good. Okay, good job, Mary Jo. Cause I don't think so either. Cause then I'm like, what would I even put? Like I'm looking around trying to see what can I do to raise it? And I don't really have anything <laughs> that I can even do. I have big Jenga pieces, but that's pretty big. That's pretty thick. So I'm like, I don't know. I think this is going to look so, so cute. And what's nice about the box frames is you don't even have to put any hardware on it because you can all right, you can just put it right on your wall and it has this lip here that'll work out perfect. So I've done that before with some and look at it, it's going to be perfect because you don't have to put anything. It'll just hang right on the thing. You can just put a nail and it'll hang perfect. I hope that's even. I want that with an H. I know, Tammy. I knew you would just love this. I knew you would love this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue 
Put some hot glue on the top. Oh, it's not dry yet. I mean, it's not hot yet. Dang. All right, it's not hot enough. So while I'm waiting for that to, to warm up, let me remind you guys to go into my VIP group if you're not part of it. So I am having a birthday month special in my VIP group. So make sure that um, you jump in there. And if you guys want to um, discount, that type of stuff, there's something going on in there. So there's that. And then I did want to show you. I wonder if I have it here. No, I don't. Isn't that a bummer? Darn. So I did have it printed out somewhere. I have a lot over here. Um, I printed it out somewhere. There is a Try Me kit. So for anybody that's watching that does not really have um, experience at all with Chalk Couture, there's a Try Me kit and it's the cutting board. Um, and then it says time to eat, I think. And it comes with the squeegee. It comes with a stir stick, I think. And it comes with the, the paste. So you get all of that. And as long as you buy it in a group like that together as a bundle, um, you get 20% off of retail. So if you were to buy it individually, it's a lot more expensive. So you can buy that as a bundle and it's $22.36 if you buy that whole entire thing as a bundle. So I just have to make sure that you guys know you got to be careful with the cutting board because it's a one-time use and so you got to make sure that you practice first <laughs> on something on a chalkboard <laughs> so that is that is my advice to you <laughs> so yes um and don't forget you can always do wood burning too um and if you guys aren't familiar with wood burning we've done it um on our page just search wood burn um and you, it should be able to pop up so but we can all of our stuff is good with um wood burn and it's good with etching too, just so you know. God, I hope that was even. I put that on pretty darn fast, my friends. All right, gosh. Guys, I really need my nails done. This is embarrassing. Maybe I should go tomorrow. That would be so good. All right, that is it. Look at it. There you go. Isn't that Beautiful. I love this. So I'll go ahead and have Michael help me put this up and then I will put a picture out there for you guys to be able to see it. So I absolutely love it. So thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, this is day 12. So yay. And I will be back here tomorrow with another fun project. project. Just make sure your notifications are on. If you guys want to be notified, I can send you a text message as well. Just go ahead and text me um, and, and make sure that I know otherwise, um, put, um, reminder. Thank you, Laura. Put reminder in the comments and I will go ahead and text you on my phone number. Okay. So that is all I have for today and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.